Greetings, Saberites. Anonymous here. Here to give you a little uh, trick that uh, I have had for uh, wheeling two sabers, kind of doing a double behind the back spin type of thing. Um, some people will call it the plum blossom or whatever. This is just a kind of a single behind the back spin. Um, now, there is, of course, the full the full Monty of this, which is doing a full uh, behind the back spin or eclipse orbit or, or whatever in conjunction with um, an orbital procession in our terminology like that, <coughs> okay, but doing it with both hands. So there are actually two circles that are happening here. <coughs> Whoops. Okay. So um, this one is where we're going to do one circle over here and then one circle in the back, like this. So it's not too much like what we do, but the reason I wanted to do this little tutorial is because there's a little trick to it. <coughs> um, now, to do this one, we're just going to be going like this. So we're doing one circle in front with one, and then it goes into the back. Now, we don't have to worry about thinking of each spin like we do in, in our regular orbits. What we can do is start, obviously we are never letting go of our sabers, but we let them move up and down like this. So <clears throat> it's very much like just loosening up your arms and doing this. If you do this, you'll notice that your arms start to cross in front of you and go behind you. That's it, precisely what's going to happen with the saber. So I'll go to the side here and I'll go to the front. Right? So I'm just going to hold them down here at my size like this. And then I'm going to move my arms and my waist, allowing the sabers to kind of just swing naturally and they will start to form essentially circles. <clears throat> like this. Okay. Now, at first, you'll probably get stuff like this, which is okay. And all you have to do is see how that can move into the next one. Now, resist the temptation to do that with your dominant hand. Keep it going back like this. Your fists or your, your hands are just going from side to side in front of you and then in back of you. Like this. Okay? Back here. So. Like that. <clears throat> and it's really a very relaxed motion. You can do it nice and slow and easy. You don't have to get hardly any effort into it whatsoever. But once you get the hang of it, you can start going pretty, pretty quickly with it. And you can also chain it because they're coming out just like that. So it's almost like you're drawing from behind your back each time, but then it goes right back there. So it's actually easier to do with two sabers this way because you can actually have them kind of walking with you and then move them into this, right? Now, of course, from here, once you get the hang of this, if you want to, you can start putting in your extra orbit after the behind the back. But for that, you're going to need to know and be very good with this procession with both hands. All right, well, aha. <clears throat> In summary, remember, we're going to hold our 
our sabers in our hands. We're not going to let go of their fingers, keep our fingers on there, but there can be a little give. But really what we're doing does not require you to let go or to really loosen up your grip too much because what's going to happen is all in the shoulders and the waist, just like that, right? So we start back and forth, increase that a little bit, and then just start using the natural tendencies of the two moving sticks in your hand. All right. So uh, hopefully that uh, will be fun for you to try out. Um, go ahead and uh, try it out yourself. It's, it may not be very good to use in a fight or anything like that, but it will definitely train your core real well. It's a good saber handling uh, exercise, good for the shoulders, good for the, good for the back. And of course, you can do it in any stance you want, so you can add stance work to it and uh, have a little fun, All right? So, hopefully we'll uh, see you around on the forums. Uh, until next time, have a great day. Happy sabering.